day 749 being Christopher Cruz it's 1 25 p.m and I'm leaving church this is the earliest I've left church on a Sunday in seven months and it feels great I have a whole afternoon um it's amazing service was so good it um God was really making it clear a lot of things really clear I have three pages or three little cards of notes um yeah one of the big things was make the challenge about God and he was revealing what purpose is to me. Like he was revealing to me what purpose is. <clears throat> like when you find your purpose, you understand how significant you are to God. You understand how much God loves you, that, that he cares so much about you, that you have your own unique, perfect purpose that ties in all those six things that make up purpose. And it's just like, it just shows you how significant you are to him. And so I have just, I have all these notes of, when I design this challenge, when I, <clears throat> when I create it, um, it's about bringing people closer to God. And I, I need to keep that in my vision. I have to keep that in front of me at all times because, you know, I'm watching all these marketing videos and everything and all of their videos and everything is about how many people can you get as customers, how much money you can make, uh, how many people show up, you know, it's like, not, I haven't seen a single video yet that's about the impact that you're making. Like, like really where they're focused on the impact more than they are the income. And so it was like, God just like revealed to me like, hey, this is about bringing them closer to God. This is about leading them back to God. And um, that was really, that just really, really hit me. That was so powerful. Um, so yeah, that was just so significant. And then I was up there and I am got my hands up and I'm just praying. I got my eyes closed and... And I got this message of, I need, I need to create the vessel that God can pour into. It's like, how is God supposed to bless me financially if I don't have a, a vessel for him to pour those finances into? If I don't have a business that has a product and I'm not, you know, putting it out there, how is God supposed to bless something that doesn't exist? So it was just this realization that God is just waiting for me to create the vessel so he can pour into it. He's ready to pour into it. He wants to pour into it but how can you pour into something that doesn't exist, right? If you don't have a cup, how is God supposed to fill it? And so the cup is my business. The cup is this challenge. And so uh, one of the messages, the messages that I got was launch it not ready. Launch the challenge, even though you're not ready. Like get it out there. And so I'm gonna go home and I'm going to take this challenge and add these points that, that God gave me today about making it about, making it about him and and not about me not about this not about that and helping people understand the power of purpose and and making this challenge about using purpose to bring them closer to god and using purpose to help people understand how significant and how loved they are by their creator so just a whole different world that i'd never seen before that i had never like really i hadn't really gone that deep before with like what purpose really does but it, it helps people realize how much they matter, how significant they are, that they are unique, they are one of a kind, and, and God has created them specifically, like, for a reason. And yeah, it's just like, mind blowing to really let that sink in. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go home and have lunch. And then I'm gonna get to work on getting this thing out to the world. Because as soon as I put the vessel out there, God will be able to pour into the vessel. So, yeah. And I'm just excited to, to speak to believers. So, more and more clarity. More clarity leads to more action. More action leads to more results. More results leads to more action, more faith, more everything. Whew, all right.